Here's a couple of cool new tools. We've got a brake pedal and steering combo lock and then a steering wheel lock. And I'm gonna show you how to use them. It's pretty simple, hang on tight. Oftentimes when you're doing wheel alignments, when you're adjusting toe, in fact, when you're adjusting anything, you really wanna have the steering wheel locked in place because you don't wanna end up finishing your toe adjustments and having the steering wheel point you know, to the right or to the left when the vehicle is going straight down the road. It's extremely important to keep the steering wheel locked in place, not only for alignments, but if you ever have the steering rack out, if you take the steering rack out, you could take your finger and spin this wheel with no resistance continuously in one direction or the other. And what'll happen is it'll ruin the, what's called the clock spring. That's the wiring inside, the very fine wiring that controls all the buttons that are on your steering wheel. And so you, these are a must if you're taking a steering rack out. So basically at this point, the steering wheel is pretty floppy, but there's this ratcheting tool they have. There's a release button under my thumb right here, and I can squeeze that and bring it down. And then when I want to raise it up, place the wide part on the seat and the rollers on the steering wheel. Give it a few pumps. You don't even need it that, that tight, but it holds it in a secure way. Um, if you are worried about like your fancy leather seats, you may want to put a towel under this part. Or if you have like a very soft plush steering wheel, you might want to put, you know, a towel or a rag or something over these parts to protect the steering wheel but it's a simple tool, works pretty well. They also have another type of product, it's very similar, but this one locks both the steering wheel and the pushes the brake pedal down. Now, if you're doing something that you don't want the vehicle's wheels to roll, uh, this is a, a handy tool. I've had a vehicle jacked up in the air before and then didn't have an air impact and had no access to a second person to put their foot in the brake pedal and I had to go through the process of jacking the vehicle up, removing the jack stands, putting it down just so I could break the wheels loose. With this, I think I probably could use this and then I could break the wheels, wheel nuts free um, with the wheel up in the air. This end of the component goes on the brake pedal itself. This goes on the steering wheel. And this is just a ball that's on there to protect. If, you, if your body came in contact with this part of the device right here, you'd be safe, you wouldn't get hurt. So basically it does not push on the seat. You connect it to the brake pedal and ratchet up to the steering wheel. What you may have to do, if you have tilt steering, fool with that a bit, maybe tilt the steering down. But yeah, you can watch me crank, watch the pedal over here. So that's depressing the pedal. Now, another cool feature about that is when you're getting a vehicle ready for inspection and you want to know if the brake lights bulbs all work, well, you can use this tool to apply the brake and prove that they work. So anyway, real basic tool, but has quite a bit of functionality. Again, if you have a very soft leather steering wheel, you may wish to protect it a bit further by putting a rag under here, but overall pretty cool device. And when you want to release it, you push down on this area and pull it out.